What's happening, folks? Back with another music video reaction, although in this case it's a live performance, and we're going to watch a live performance of the Danish National Symphony Orchestra and their suite of the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly score, uh, originally by Ennio, I believe, Morricone. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it's a very famous score. Obviously, it's one of the... the oh, what is it called? It's a trilogy of film, Fistful of Dollars. I'm, I'm blanking on the name that they give it, but obviously it centers around the character of Clint Eastwood. And ultimately, I had seen the film and heard the score, I think, independent of that before I saw this, but this has become my uh, most favorite rendering I've ever seen of it. In particular, I'm very fond of the Ecstasy of Gold uh, part of the original score, and that part of this, which is sort of the middle section, uh, it's just absolutely brilliant. Now, the whole thing is, and shout out, they give a specific reference here to the soprano, but there's another singer from the orchestra who plays a major role, and that's um, uh, Tuva. Um, and I forget her surname, but yeah, I believe Tuva is her given name. Either way, this is an incredible ride, so let's watch. This is the Danish National Symphony Orchestra performing a suite of the score from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, a composition originally, or a soundtrack originally by Ennio Morricone. I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, yeah, bear with me. I apologize. That's the singer named Tuva. Is it hang em high? I'm forgetting. But yeah, obviously a reference to what happens, uh, you know, the vigilante justice of the Old West. I've been watching, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a J-drama about classical music recently on my Patreon, Notame Cantabile, and one of the main characters is a conductor, and recently, in one of the latest episodes, a second special episode, um, you know, there's a competition for conductors, oh, it's the first special episode, but the point is, there's a number of different conducting styles that you see, and they talk about, you know, different approaches to conducting, and she has a, a special challenge in this case, because not all the people that she's conducting are at the same elevation, if that makes sense, so, 
yeah, uh, I do appreciate uh, the way she conducts the sort of uh, very simple to understand, like intuitive gestures, but also the fact that she's conducting uh, with some logistical challenges. <laughs> Before we move this to the next phase, I just say his performance is just brilliant. Like it's such a great uh, rendering of that crucial, crucial passage in this larger section. angelic voice uh, i have to say also i love the presentation of that section you get a sense that you know because if you know the piece or even if you don't just the way it sort of um gets super in close on the woodwind player and then it moves to the piano you can just tell something's about to happen but the way it pans up with a bit of gravitas uh, absolutely love that section <laughs> control but like the different like mouth positions to achieve you know certain um, moments but I also again like the the arrangement of everybody it's surely not just you know aesthetic but it's about the acoustics of the hall and where the different parts of the different sounds will um, you know resonate or um, fill the space the best I, I love the um, both the aesthetic and the practical reasons why you might uh, arrange things like this.
is right to whoever said that. Uh, they have also, whoa, uh, they have also done like a number of other things you can see here. Lord of the Rings suite, they've done a Halo suite for anyone who, like me, enjoys the Halo games and those soundtracks. So I'll come back for some more from the Danish uh, National Symphony Orchestra. Big shout out to them once again. Uh, shout out to anyone who's checking out some of these videos that, you know, I've begun to go through some music videos for groups I've been deep diving on, including those that were largely, you know, new to me as I started to explore them through my YouTube channel. Um, but ultimately, there were a number of videos that once I started making reactions and it, it originally only audio where I was like, you know what, if I can someday like do music video reactions, you know, like screen capture reactions, then definitely uh, I'll do those. So yeah, it's really cool to go through some of these and shout out to those who are here for it. Let me know what you think of this particular performance and I will see you next time. Peace.